What's up, everybody? Charlie checking in here. Mwah, right there, my new that was, camera. That's how I do that, it. You gotta, you, gotta, right. you gotta give everybody the love. Mwah, right. Like, they don't there. want mine. It, my hands stink as it is. <laughs> so they love your love, buddy. So, so today, Charles wanted to talk about this story, and I think it's one of the funnier things. That dog biting himself. Look at he was. <laughs> He's like his head was like twisted. <laughs> so, I don't know, we're getting off track. You're a bad dog. Charles one time got his shoe stolen and I got beat up. It was a whole thing. <laughs> and we're gonna talk about it. So Fuck it. go ahead. Let's start this thing. Alright, yeah. So this was dang I was in What would you call this? The time you got robbed? <laughs> you know? I would say ganked. Um, I don't know what the word is. Jumped? Jump yeah, I mean, let me get them J's. They weren't J's though, they were airwalks. Um and with the time that I got jacked, I got, I got, I got punked. How about that? We said the time that Charlie got punked. And Pickle Boy. Maybe Michael and Charles got jumped. Michael and Charles, there we go. Michael and Charles got jumped. Okay, so it was like back in like the seventh grade. Uh, how old, how old was, how was, how old were you back then? This back was then? probably about 95. A 95, yeah. Rage Against the Machine had just come out with Evil Empire. You know, I was, I was just starting my, my, my skater. You know, starting to find my skater identity, you know, walking around with the jeans tore up. I used to fucking take dad's pants because Jinkos were big and dude. Remember I used to walk around. They were extra big, dude. <laughs> I used to walk around with a belt and dad's fucking yeah. Jinkos. Yeah, this is, this is back when dad weighed like 800 pounds. So you were in like size dude. like 68 jean. Yes, man. I mean, and the bottom. And you, you, would, you would wear the belt like extra tight. Remember that? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm saying like he's got. They didn't look like Jinkos. Yeah, they did. They didn't. <laughs> I go check the mail in them. That was about right, it. So anyway, so uh, my friend Lenny, he had a he had a brother that grew up across town in the fucking hood. This dude was wild. Uh, had him come spend the uh, the summer with him, and uh, we all decided to get together and play a little two on two basketball. Now I'm not a basketball player, first of all, if you can't tell. So not you know, forget white boy can't jump, fat boy can't jump. <laughs> you know. So I'm not playing no basketball. Let's cut that. I'm gonna do the racist joke. Yeah. So, first of all, I'm not a basketball player, obviously. So we're sitting there. They challenge us to two-on-two -two basketball. Now, before the game, Charles noticed the dude had airwalks. Nice pair. Of air and walks. you loved them. I loved them. And so I guess a trade happened. Like, how did that happen? Like, you guys traded. Yeah, I guess it was just like, uh, hey man, I really like those, those those shoes, those airwalks. And this guy, like I said, he was he was a little gangster. You know what I mean? He was, he was a thug. Man, yada yada. So he he did he wasn't an airwalk wearer, so he was like, hey, well, you know, uh, I don't fucking like him. Give me that basketball, and you can have the airwalks. So we start playing basketball. It's like they're beating our ass. First of all, <laughs> I'm no help to you at all. It's basically you against them. <laughs> We're just having fun. Uh, it was fun. The games go on for about 45 minutes, and then we stop playing. Everybody's talking and we're chilling, and they notice the ball is gone. Charlie's wearing these new shoes, by the way. He wore them for the game. And the ball is missing. The ball's missing. The, the ball that they just traded the shoes for is gone. <laughs> and they're pissed. Yeah, they are. So they're like, yo, where the hell was the ball? Uh, they, they thought that Michael took the fucking ball home and hit it yeah. and came back. And, uh... So, I mean, they were they were pissed, like, give me my fucking shoes back. I'm like, I'm It started to get really heated. It did, you know, I was like, Charles Charles looks at me, Michael, run! So I gotta run. <laughs> Next, you know, the guy gets me. I'm in the torture rack. If you've never seen wrestling, he gets him on the shoulders and they. <laughs> Michael, and I can see, like, we locked eyes. Yeah, like, he's like, like, like this like, is went, the moment. I went to do something, the other guy slams me on the fucking ground, dude, and I'm like, ah! Me and Charles are locked eyes locked. while this jumping is happening. Now, oh, shit. they let me down, and the other brother goes and starts, starts stomping. stomping on Charles. They're beating his ass, and so I take off running. The last thing that I see as I turn, I see Charlie's legs in the air, and the shoes <laughs> slipped off of his feet. They just whoop. And so I take off running. Now, here's where I become the biggest asshole in the story. I run home. Charlie's getting jumped. A hundred yards away. <laughs> I'm running. I get into the house. Where you been? Nowhere. I just sit down. I don't say shit. Charlie's What's out there getting dinner? beat up. What's I'm for dinner? Up, yeah. I'm thinking about having cereal. I want crunch berries. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, Charlie's out there getting his ass beat. Getting beat the fuck up, dude. And these motherfuckers are like, yo, you learned your motherfucking lesson? I'm like, I was like, man, I didn't tell you fucking ball, you know? Charles comes in about 10 minutes later. He's fucking got a bloody nose. I'm all fucked up. His clothes up. are ripped no up. No shoes. No shoes. <laughs> the fuck happened to you? He got beat up. He got me beat up, too. <laughs> yeah. You got your brother beat up? Yeah, dad jumps on me for getting him involved in my fucking shit. He watched him. <laughs> yeah. Like, it was like any of that is fucking true whatsoever. I was a piece of shit. Yeah. So, another 10 minutes goes by. Okay, knock they, didn't, they didn't hear that. Knock at the door. It's these guys. One guy's holding the shoes in one hand, <laughs> the other one's holding the basketball in the other. Basketball. The ball rolled back down to their house because it was on a hill. All the way back down to his front yard. And he said when they got home, they noticed the ball, decided to bring me the shoes back. That was noble of them to do it, but... I, you know, man, I, I took the shoes back, too, man. I was like, thank you, you know, because I wanted to be... Yeah, that was really noble of, man. Kenny, if you're out there, right on, my man. I keep looking up here, but this is where I got to look. Uh, nice job, Kenny. Cool-ass dude, You man. didn't hurt my back too much. Not too bad. <laughs> the fucker had... No, fuck Kenny, man. Fuck Kenny. Give me the torture. <laughs> you jumped us. Fuck Kenny. Fuck you, Kenny. Unless he lives anywhere near us, then Kenny, you cool. You, <laughs> you're the coolest, Kenny. <laughs> he was kind of big back then, you know. He's probably he, even bigger now. Well, he, he failed a couple grades. Uh. He's one of those type of people, so... Another part of it that was funny is uh, after they took my fucking shoes and then had a hash, uh, shagged ass back to their house, uh, I'm just like laying in this damn person's yard. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> this yeah. Ran the person's yard, you know what I mean? That we that we were damn playing basketball with, and I'm sitting on my knees crying. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? There's a chick that lives in this house that Charlie had a crush on. Now Charlie was like, I should write her a letter. It was all kinds of shit. She comes outside after the beatdown <laughs> and sees me fucking laid here crying. <laughs> I look over, <laughs> and then she's like, "What the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you fight back, pussy? Why did you fucking fight back, pussy? Get the fuck out of my yard!" <laughs> she crushed you, dude. Fucking crushed my damn so soul. He got his heart broken and his shoe stolen and beat up in the same day. <laughs> and he learned that I don't got his back. Yeah. <laughs> I turned on him immediately for crunch berries. <laughs> I'll never fucking forget that, man. But it was good seeing Michael, man, locking eyes on him while he's in the torture act. Yeah, it was a moment. We're like, this is it. <laughs> this would get my ass beat, feels like. <laughs> oh, shit. What he didn't see, he was running home, man. He did. He, he, turned, around, he turned back around and saw me getting my shoes took in. But he didn't see all the punches and fucking kicks that I was getting. You got your ass tore up. Oh, man, all over a fucking basketball. So, that was definitely my transition from basketball over to skater. Because, man, that left a bad taste in my mouth. Yeah. So. Yeah, the taste was blood. I hate. <laughs> there was probably. And some dirt. Of, yeah, there was a lot of that. And whatever was on his knuckles. And dad? Oh, well. You got a goddamn too, didn't you? <laughs> Quit crying. <laughs> Big ass fucking baby. And that's one thing I can always say about my dad, though. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Go fucking fight him. You know what I mean? Do your fucking thing. Dad was never a, come here, bit Well, well to me. That's why I turned out the way I did. <laughs> so fucking awesome and great. That's how. Yeah, so fucking awesome and great, man. That's what happens when parents show you love. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when they don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, that's the story. Pretty much, yeah. I want to thank my brother for being here. Love him very much. I know you guys love him. Been asking about him. Thank him for the brand new camera right here. This thing is amazing. You know, I mean, you can still kind of see my teeth here a little yellow. I'm not willing to do that. <laughs> you know, we had this big idea planned. It was going to start raining. And we thought, oh, let's get the rain behind us. Hell yeah. That didn't happen. It's just burning up hot. Yeah. It is feeling a little bit nicer out here. Subscribe though. to this motherfucker. And we're getting out of here. Later, I'm going to cover up like I do on my channel.